This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Saturday is looking like a great day to hike and bike, and the Greater Hazleton Area Civic Partnership is ready to help you get going. Feels like a Wednesday, doesn't it? Or is it just me? Anyways, welcome to SSP TV News on the air online and on the Samsung Productions app. I'm Ken Karen. Here's Tuesday's information from SSP TV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Family, friends, and fellow members of the clergy said goodbye today to Reverend John K. Mano. Bishop Joseph Bambera, the leader of the Diocese of Scranton, celebrated the Pontifical Mass of Christian Burial this morning at Annunciation Church in Williamsport. Many people from our area knew Father Mano when he served as the pastor of St. John Bosco Church in Cunningham for 14 years. He was also the very first priest to bring SSPTV's Mass of Inspiration into the homes of our viewers. He was 78 years old. It's a chance to enjoy Mother Nature with the community. In honor of National Trails Day, the Greater Hazleton Area Civic Partnership is teaming up with the Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton to host the 16th annual hike and bike event this Saturday. It's all free event. You don't pay anything. We, we have all environmental stands. We have live animals that are along the trail. Uh, we have education about the live animals that are along the trail. Everything but a bear. We don't have a bear. <laughs> uh, also, uh, like I said, we have a free picnic lunch. We have hamburgers. We have hot dogs. We have uh, assorted fruits and vegetables, etc. And again, everything is for free. Uh, this year, uh, tricky trays, we probably have over 20 baskets for our tricky trays. So you could really get some good prizes if you come up. Uh, we have bike helmets for all the children that need them. Children under 12 years old need to ride a bike helmet in Pennsylvania. So we have bike helmets for the children that need them free of charge. The event kicks off this Saturday at 11 a.m. at the Rails to Trails entrance off Route 93 in Hazleton. For more information, visit civicpartnership.com. This Friday is the Wine and Chocolate Walk in downtown Hazleton, but that's not the only big event happening downtown this week. I won't spoil it. Let's take a walk to Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant. Welcome back inside Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant in downtown Hazleton with Lauren Sacco. One of the owners here, Lauren, I'm getting ready to go on vacation this summer. The first thing I did, I looked up restaurants and menus. I love seafood. I just want it in my face all the time. That might not be appetizing. I'm sorry, but it is <laughs> so delicious. But sometimes you just can't get away to, to the beach or somewhere. So right. right here in downtown Hazleton, every Friday, every all you Friday can eat night. crab legs. All you can eat crab legs with, uh, we actually offer BYOB with it. Yes. So whether your drink of choice is Rolling Rock, which we've talked about in the past, Yes. Um, corona or a bottle of wine. We offer an all-you-can-eat option that is served with two sides of your choice and we switch them up often to keep it fresh. We offer crab legs by the pound. We offer all different pasta type dishes with a side of crab legs or crab meat mixed throughout it. Um, Friday night has become a seafood night here at Frankie's with all the different crab ideas. Your crab legs are so good. Is it the type you get? I, I've bought crab legs. I've tried to make them. And it's not the same, Lauren. I mean, you're doing something here that that's making them. I, I think mean, a don't lot of it, secrets, but I learned when we when we spent time down in Ocean City. I learned from some of the best people who were pretty native to the island, and you know, they with between the old bay, the bay leaf sugar in the water. Um, when I eat a crab leg, I don't even need butter. I don't think they need butter. I think they're perfect, they're sweet. And you, I mean, you work for your meal. That's some of the downfall to what some people say. I don't want to do the all you can eat. It's, it's, it's a pain in the butt, it's too long. But if you are someone craving and love crab legs, which as my husband and myself do, you could sit there and just feast on these and they're that good. As you mentioned, it's um, BYOB, which mm -hmm. I enjoy. My wife was getting the crab legs. I got pizza and I sat here and I'll tell you what, my conversation got, we should have done a segment then. The conversation right. got more and more interesting <laughs> through, throughout the night. But the atmosphere in here too, like it was an enjoyable, how important is that to you and your we family? Because fun, I came in and... We have a fun crowd that comes here. Yeah. I mean, I cannot say a bad thing about someone that crosses our path here. It's good hometown friendly faces that by Friday night, they're just like, let's get out the heck with cooking like and not even all of them eat crab there's some that do a slice of thick tavern and a bowl of soup um, and the husband feasts down on the crab legs so it's a very good combination my mom always refers to this place as cheers without the beers 
And you can bring your <laughs> own beer. Or everybody knows the, your name. Yeah. And yes, you can bring your own beer uh, for that one. And the nice thing too is, and you're absolutely right, we were here, we made friends with like people at the table next to us. Mm -hmm. It's just such a nice and inviting atmosphere. Plus there's all you can eat, crab legs. Take a staycation here at Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant in downtown Hazleton. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. I was in Dallas today for a story at Misericordia University. You'll see next week on SSP TV News as part of our Summer in Space series. For right now, check out this beautiful garden on campus and our forecast from the National Weather Service tonight looks partly cloudy with a low of 55 degrees. Wednesday, we have a 30% chance of showers, partly sunny with a high near 78 degrees. Chance of showers mainly after 1 p.m. At night, showers and thunderstorms likely mostly cloudy with a low of 61, 60% 60 chance of precipitation. Thursday, 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms, partly sunny with highs in the upper 70s, partly cloudy at night, low of 56. Friday is mostly sunny with a high of 76 and at night, partly cloudy, low of 55. Saturday, mostly sunny with a high of 75 degrees and Saturday night, partly cloudy with a low of 54 degrees. Everyone talks about our offense, but our defense is phenomenal. That's what Hazleton area softball coach Bob Bertoni had to say after his team's win in the state playoffs. The Batlin Cougs fought their way to a victory over Pensbury 2-1 in the 6A state playoffs. This is the SSPTV standard speaker scoreboard. Steve Stallone recaps a bunch of their outstanding defensive plays in his article in the standard speaker. Tiana Trion made a few of them. She was also 2-2 two for two at the plate. Leah Cost was the winning pitcher and Olivia Wolk had the sack fly then scored the winning run. On Thursday, Hazleton plays District 1 champ Downingtown West at Patriots Park in Allentown at noon. Reggie Crawford had a three-run home run in North Schuylkill Baseball's win in the 4A playoffs over Cardinal O'Hara. The Spartans play Hamburg at Walter Stump Stadium in Pine Grove on Thursday at 2 p.m. Hazleton area baseball team lost to Downingtown East in the 6A playoffs. The game was tied at 5 in the 5th before Downingtown pulled away and the Rail Riders, they split a doubleheader against Buffalo on Monday. Coming up next, Lisa Sugar takes a look at what's happening in downtown Hazleton and our John Eric Poli goes to PNC Field for Red Baron's Reunion Weekend. Watch SSP TV in Scranton Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. until noon on Comcast Channel 190. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. The Greater Hazleton Historical Society and Museum and the Sophia Cox Education Center will be hosting its first ever joint carnival fundraiser now through June 9th. Weekday carnival hours are 6 to 10 p.m. and weekend carnival hours are 3 to 10 p.m. The cost is $20 per day. For more information, you can call the museum at the number on your screen. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SBTV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Jacqueline Jackie Ambrush of Hazleton. Funeral will be Thursday at 8 p.m. at the Harmon Funeral Home in Rock Glen. Friends may call Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Funeral Home. Nancy J. Barkas of Freeland. Services will be private under the McNulty Funeral Home. Anthony N. Millardi of Hazel Township. The Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home will announce their arrangements. Margaret Palmer of West Hazleton. Mass will be Thursday at 11 a.m. at St. Michael's Byzantine Catholic Church. Friends may call Thursday from 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. at the Damiano Funeral Home. Christian Bub Senchak of White Haven. Funeral will be Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the Desiderio Lehman Funeral Home in Wright Township. Friends may call Wednesday from 3 to 6 p.m. at the Funeral Home. And Rita Teresa Yanovic of Boca Raton, Florida. Mass will be Friday at 10 a.m. at Holy Rosary Roman Catholic Church. Friends may call Friday from 8.30 to 10 a.m. at the church. The Fiero Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Today's social and obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.